Okay, good evening everybody. Welcome to the line. It is Wednesday night. Wednesday night is our general knowledge quiz. Tonight it is quarantine week four and we are going live again with our usual uh, Wednesday night quiz. My name's Sean. I am the quiz man. I just see myself appear on my monitor to the left, so this is not off-putting as usual. We'll give everyone a couple of minutes to join in. If you've not seen, there is a permanent link posted in the comments section, which is the images for the pitch round. Round one is your pitch round one to ten. Name the individuals or the people on the pictures. Apart from number ten, name the object that is listed on the pictures. All you need is a scrap of paper. You're going to have six rounds in total. So make sure you've got plenty of space on there to write them down. As always, it's time to have a beer. After last week's um, problem with my bottle of beer, which was a bit lively, I've gone for a can this week. So this week from Stone Brewery, we're going for a, a nice can of Ruination Double IPA. We're dropping it down to a little eight and a half percent this week praying to god it doesn't go everywhere oh it's kind of stable cheers everyone So we've got Joanne, Colette, John, Kev all dropping in and saying hello. Hi everyone. We're here for the next hour or so to have some fun quiz action. Um, if you can't find the pitch rounds, I've posted a permanent link in a pinned comment to the top of the, the chat to show where they are. We're not quite on yet, Andrea. We're just talking through the, the initial phases and telling where everyone is. Sausage Monster saying hello. Hey Peter. I'm missing that ugly face. So your picture round is on the events page. I've pasted a link to it in the chat thread so you can see what's there. Ten pictures, one to nine. Tell me who the people are. Number ten, name what the object is. Evening, Mr. Duffy. I went to call you earlier and got sidetracked. Right. You're looking for an Aubrey, are you, Ian? An Aubrey? Has anyone seen an Aubrey? I hope. I think it's just your screen at the moment, Melanie, because I've got two or three screens here, and I can see myself waffling on on all of them. So, if it has, just refresh your page. Right. What we do normally is we start to go through the pitch round, and we'll put them up on the screen so you can see them they'll be flashing through if you haven't had access to the actual um, pictures in the background if you're not being able to get access to the 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 main document don't worry all right so here we go your pitch round is on the right hand side of the screen as you look at it one to ten name the people where possible, number 10, name the object. There's a distinct um, beardy flavour tonight on the picture round, it appears. Might even be a picture of me in there. That's it. I'm not sure, is that me or is it number 6? Oh, there we are. Um, I got nominated by my daughter on Instagram last night to down a pint um, due to the whole lockdown challenges. I would, but I don't think I've got anything that's less than 7% in the um, in the storage in the garage. So I think I'd be on my back if I did. So I'm going to gracefully bow out of that one. Oh, best behaviour. Queen Mother's here. Good evening, mummy. Right, six minutes down. All right, we'll give everyone a couple of minutes, then we'll begin with round two. For those of you who've never done the quiz before on a Wednesday night, 
as much as it's all about trivia and general knowledge, it is all about being heckled by me and being having a bit of banter. So if you are going to say anything in the comments, be prepared to um, let me pick on you. Um, on a Wednesday, we also have sausage and chip cobs appear at half time. Unfortunately, due to the current circumstances, not the case. I've had carbonara. Delightful daughters made it, so that's mine tonight. Um, I might nip out for a bag of chocolate buttons because I know there's some in the fridge. Hi, Ruth. How are you? It says here you're a top fan of the line as well. Right, so your quiz is six rounds. Round one is your pitch round. Round two is current affairs, 10 things that have happened in the news for the last 10 days or so. Round three is top five, and in that round, I'm going to ask you two questions. Each question has five possible answers. Round four is your alpha links. Ten questions. Each one follows the previous one. So if we start with letter A, then letter B, C, D, as the answers go through the count of ten. Round five is connections. Gassy beer. Four questions, four answers, and then a fifth and final what connects them. And then round six is your wipeout. We'll talk about that when we get a bit closer, but there is bonus points available for the wipeout. If you're playing... Solo, good luck. If you're playing as a group of you in a house, good luck. If you're on a Zoom or a um, watch party, thank you for bringing more people to the pub. It's always nice when we see people joining joining together. It's even nice when you see people having conversations in the um, in the comments thread. Dukes of Hazard are in the house. Who's Daisy Duke? Have we got photo evidence? Hi, Jane. Oh, we've got Dee Dee Allen playing from Georgia, USA. Joining in and helping Colette. Good evening across the pond. Or good afternoon, not should I say. It's three o'clock in Georgia from memory. Right, that's it. I think we're ready to begin now. Round two is all about current affairs and things that have happened in the news for the last 10 days or so. I'm going to leave the image images um, slide showing through in case any of you can't get access to the um, pitch around. But here we go. In the news, round two. Current affairs. Question one. Oh, we've got another cross Atlantic quizzer. Brit is from Jacksonville. All right, hi, Brit. I've got friends from Jacksonville as well. Right, question one of round two. American singer Bill Withers sadly died on the 30th of March. But what was his biggest UK hit? So American singer Bill Withers sadly died on the 30th of March. What was his biggest UK hit? I keep getting asked every week if we're going to do the music quiz in the same format. Um, we've done some testing today, not necessarily from a quiz perspective, but um, Facebook has a habit of muting the audio on a music stream if you don't own the copyright to it, if you're DJing, for instance. So um, we've done a few bits of testing with Twitch, um, D virtual DJ and um, the actual Facebook Live, and they all seem to have the same habit, so... It's a no-go, I'm afraid. All right, question two. Which hit show features Jay Blades... Sorry, which hit BBC show features Jay Blades, Dominic China, Will Kirk, and Kirsten Ramsey? It's close to my heart, this one. So which hit BBC show features Jay Blades, Dominic China... That's China spelled C-H-I-N-E-A. Will Kirk and Kirsten Ramsey. I keep forgetting I've got my questions down below and I've got them up here as well, so I need to keep looking at you guys. Right, 
Good evening, Millers and Pinners. So we're all over the country tonight and all over the world from the looks of it. Question three. The Queen addressed the nation on Monday last week, but which wartime song did she reference at the end of her speech? So the Queen addressed the nation on Monday last week, but which wartime song did she reference at the end of her speech? Don't worry being late to the party, Emma. Um, I'll paste the questions at the end of the round into the, the comments. So if you've missed any, you'll be able to pick them up then. We're currently on re question three of round two. Round one is your picture round, and that is on the events page. There's a link in the comments. Also, the pictures are scrolling around as the screen goes on. So question three, the Queen addressed the nation on Monday, but which wartime song did she reference at the end of her speech? Question four. Who has become the first... Oh, sorry. Question Question four. On the 8th of April, what colour was the supermoon said to be? So on the 8th of April, what colour was the supermoon said to be? Good evening, Mr Brown. Question 5. Who has become the first Englishman since 2005 to be named Wisden's leading cricketer in the world? So who has become the first Englishman since 2005 to be named Wisden's leading cricketer in the world? I'm trying to work out which of the pitches I look most like. Five, uh, four, five, six, or seven. Not quite sure. Cheers, Craig. Yeah, James, I was thinking number two, just the right right side of it. If only it was my birthday. Campari and orange. Oh, what a combination, Manda. Number five, Chris. Who was who has become the first Englishman since two thousand and five to be named Wisden's leading cricketer in the world? 
you missed any questions, they'll be pasted into the chat after each round. Question six. Who won the leadership ballot to take over as leader of the Labour Party? So who, who won the leadership ballot to take over as leader of the Labour Party? Brent, he wishes he was me. Question seven. Which former Bond girl sadly died at the age of 94 on the 5th of April? Brit, all you need to do is have a sheet of paper and just write the answers down. It's all for fun. Um, with no submissions of answers, just a to total of scores up at the end. And honestly, give us your score at the end. So question seven. Which former Bond girl sadly died at the age of 94 on the 5th of April? Question eight. Who recently became the first British WWE champion when he beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania? So who recently became the first British WWE champion when he beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania? Question number nine. I didn't miss number seven, Fiona. You'll be able to see it in a second. Question nine. Lord Bath died from coronavirus, aged 87. He was the owner of which wildlife park? So, Lord Bath died from coronavirus, aged 87. But he he was the owner of which wildlife park? And question 10, the final question in this round. What was the stage name of comedian Eddie McGuinness, who sadly died last week? 
So what was the stage name of the comedian Eddie McGuinness who sadly died last week? One, two, three. God, sorry, that's four deaths in one round. I've never done that. So what was the stage name of comedian Eddie McGuinness who sadly died last week? As always, I'll paste the um, questions into the chat thread. So if you missed any, you can go and find them. So there you go, the first, those 10 questions are now in the chat thread if you need to see them. Joe, I would love to give you more cheery news. Unfortunately, we're a bit stumped for um, cheery news at the moment, so I'm having to work with what I've got. Apologies, Karis. Right, after your news, we move on to um, the next round. I'm going to remove the picture round from the image slideshow and we're going to go to round three which is our top five round round three is the one where you get two questions each question has five possible answers each of those answers is worth a point so two questions five answers per question Right, question one. In the Flintstones, apologies, man, a technical problem. In the Flintstones, name Fred's wife, his daughter, his pet, and both of his adult neighbours. So, in the Flintstones, name Fred's wife, his daughter, his pet, and both of his adult neighbours. So in the Flintstones named Fred's wife, his daughter, their pet, and both of his adult neighbours. Why does everyone want to message me when I'm on here live? So, in the Flintstones, name Fred's wife, his daughter, their pet, and both of his adult neighbours. Only one of his pets actually has a name. The other one just gets kicked out. Right, question two. Question two. Name the five creatures who appear the most 
in the names of public houses. So according to a recent survey, name the five creatures who appear the most frequently in the names of public houses. I'll give you a clue. I don't think the one on the screen is one. It's the name of Jamie Oliver's uh, mobile kitchen. So name the five creatures who appear the most frequently in the names of public houses. After round three, we move on to round four. Round four is your alpha links round. In this round, I'm going to give you ten questions. If the answer to question one begins with the letter A, the answer to question two begins with the letter B, and the answer to question three, the letter C, and so on. Should we ever get to the letter Z, the next answer will begin with the letter A. Sometimes you can't get the answer straight away and you might have to wait till you three or four questions in before you work out what's going back um, down the alphabet so question one of round four which vegetable can be oyster, chestnut, or shiitake? So which vegetable can be oyster, chestnut, or shiitake? The questions for round three are in the um, comments thread in case anyone's missed either of them. Question two, which cosmetic brand gets its name from the Latin for as white as snow? So which cosmetic brand gets its name from Latin for as white as snow? With comments like that, Joe, some could say a jazz musician isn't quite a musician. And technically, it's not 
a fruit or a vegetable, but it is often classed as a vegetable. Question three. Who is Popeye's girlfriend? So what is the name of Popeye's girlfriend? Question four. A piece of glass that separates light into, uh, into the visible spectrum is called a what? So a piece of glass that separates light into the visible spectrum is called a what? Question number five. I feel that Ruth's going to get giddy over this one. Madam Hooch teaches what at Hogwarts school? So Madam Hooch teaches what at Hogwarts school? I think I can hear the high-pitched squeal from Hocknell. It's only when you video yourself like this, you realise how much you touch your face. But with a beard, why wouldn't you? It's just, it's there to be stroked. Question six. Who said, but soft, what light through yonder window breaks? So who said, but soft, what light through yonder window breaks? See, one of the things I really do love about doing this quiz on Facebook Live is I get about an hour and a half where I'm not hearing about being stuck in Gulag from upstairs. So it's it's great. It, I don't feel like I'm having wartime flashbacks. So question seven are we on? Too much beer. One, two, three, four, five, five. Yeah, question seven. The America's Cup is in which sport? So the America's Cup is in which sport? Might go classy next week and do a bottle of wine instead. That'll be messy. The America's Cup is in which sport? Question number eight. Which American state is known as the Lone Star State? So which American state is known as the Lone Star State?
Question nine, what mountain range separates Europe from Asia? So what mountain range separates Europe from Asia? I'm just checking to see if my stream's still working. Yep, still working. Question 10. Um, I got distracted playing with some graphics on the stream. Question 10. In Hinduism, which god is known as the preserver? So in, in Hinduism, which god is known as the preserver? So after round four, we move on to round five. We're going to paste the um, questions into the chat thread. One thing I've noticed is I've not numbered the questions in my notes, so you have to do your best to work them out. We're going to move on to round five. Round five is our connections round. In this round, you're going to get four four questions and then a fifth and final what connects the previous four questions oh sorry was that I didn't mean to put that on there but if you want to go and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel feel free um, <laughs> round five is your connection round four questions connect them and you'll be able to work out what connects the previous four answers Question one of this round. Question one. All right. Who had a hit in 2007 called I Don't Feel Like Dancing? So who had a hit, hit song in 2007 called I Don't Feel Like Dancing? Question two, what swimming stroke is named after an insect? So what swimming stroke is named after an insect? Question three. Locomotive 4472 is better known by what name? So locomotive 4472 is better known by what name? Question four. The penny farthing was an early form of what transportation? So the penny farthing was an early form of what transportation? And 
question five, what connects the previous four answers? So what connects the previous four answers? Done it. The, uh, the artist that had a hit song over I Don't Feel Like Dancing, the swimming stroke named after an insect, locomotive 4472, and the penny farthing was what form of early, uh, early form of what transportation? What connects the four answers? My new chair is nice and comfy, thank you, Tyler. Those four questions are going to get pasted into the comments in case you missed any of them. I'm always inquisitive as to why someone puts an angry face. Hmm. If you put an angry face, it, must, it should say, can you please give us a reason for that when you um, like something or angry face something on Facebook? Right, after round five, we move on to the wipeout round. But round the wipeout round is called that because you can wipe out in this round. You've got 10 questions. If you answer all 10 questions correctly, you have a chance of getting a bonus of five points. But if you get any question wrong in this round, you lose all the points for the round. That's why it's called the wipeout round. So bonus of five points if you get all 10 right. Lose all the points if you get anything wrong in the round. In the pub, the quiz is often won or lost on the um, hinge of this round, so you're either going to win or you're going to fail miserably by wiping out. So, 10 questions. They usually get a little bit harder in this round. Who knows? Question 1. What comic duck is a billionaire? So, what? which comic duck is a billionaire? Question two. The Bay of Pigs fiasco took place in which country? So the Bay of Pigs fiasco took place in which country? Question three, who designed the famous cover of Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band? So who designed the famous cover of Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band? Question four. What did uh, what does peppermint patty always call Charlie Brown? So what does peppermint patty always call Charlie Brown?
Question five, what is the basic unit of currency for Israel? So what is the basic unit of currency for Israel? If you leave the answer blank, Gaz, you don't get marked down for that one if you've um, not put anything for it. So the idea is leave it out and only answer the ones you do know, hoping that you've got them right. So if you leave it blank, you don't get marked down, you just get a point for each one you do get right. But as you're at home and you're marking your own sheet, honesty is all down to yourself. Question six. In the 1980s, which actor became Motown Records' biggest selling white artist ever? So in the 1980s, which actor became Motown Records' biggest selling white artist ever? Question seven. Question seven. Which sport takes place in a circle 4.55 meters in diameter? So which sport takes place in a circle which is 4.55 meters in diameter? So, on non-related to the quiz. So, in the in the um, Empire Magazine's top 100 movies, you're hoping there's going to be a, a Harry Potter question, a Harry Potter film in there. I don't think there will be, Ruth. Um, as much as I'd love to say yes, Prisoner of Azkaban should be because it is the darkest of the movies. I don't think it will be. Personally, I think Kingdom of the Crystal School should be in there, but Ian would like to argue that fact with me. Question number eight. Problem is, it's going to take him 20 minutes now to put his reply in the comments thread. Ian, just get your daughter to type it, it'll be quicker. Question eight. What colour is the black box on a commercial plane? So what colour is the black box on a commercial plane? You know, four or five weeks ago, someone said we're going to do this. We'll have over 150 watch parties, families, houses joining in. I'd said we wouldn't get that many, but for the last four weeks, we've had roughly the same. I see myself in the um, in the stream because there's a delay onto the other screen I'm looking at, and I feel like I'm watching Stevie Wonder. Apologies for my rocking back and forth. It's my new chair. It's comfy. Question nine: Who is the lead singer if John Entwistle is the bass player? So who is the lead singer if John Entwistle is the bass player? Sorry Kelly, if he's getting wound up. I love you really Ian. So who is the lead singer if John Entwistle is the bass player? Oh, you know when you wind people up and just let them go. Emma, you may find a new friend in the comments in the section in the second. He takes a while to reply. He gets fed up when I chat with him on text because I'm putting five to ten messages in for everyone he does.
So after uh, who's the lead singer if John Entwistle is the bass player? Question 10. Which book of the Bible tells of Goliath slaying of David? So which book of the Bible tells of Goliath slaying of David? And for those, for those of you who are having, having multiple, multiple compositions, compositions within your house, your house or your parties, or parties, parties, or 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 the next thing we're going to do is get into the answers. Yeah. But before, before we do, we're going to give, give you a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes even, even to, to think about, think about apparently about my issues. I don't know anyone could mic. Mike. Mike. So f for any of you... Gone all full Dalek. I've not moved the microphone. Everything's glowing fine. Just gonna give it a chance. Two seconds. We'll take the cam, take the mic off, and see what it does. Put the mic back on. Are we still Dalek-y? Has it improved? Are we there? See, no one in the house is doing it tonight, so I'm not getting the automatic run in to tell me there's a problem, so... Are we back? All right, great. Okay, cheers, Phil. Um, so, for those of you, question 10 was your question about which book of the Bible tells of Goliath slain of David, or by David, sorry. And your tiebreak for those of you playing in multiple teams, how many ships were in the Spanish Armada? How many, how many ships were in the Spanish Armada? Possibly a static for my beard, David. You never know the amount of things that do come out of this beard from time to time. Right. I'll give you two or three minutes to finalise your answers, lock them in, as Mr. Tarrant says when he's talking to a major from the Royal Engineers. Ignore the TV shows. He wasn't from the Adjutant General's Corps. He was from the Royal Engineers. How they um, made me feel cheap last night on that TV show. I think it just happens every week. It picks a random time, and then it happens this. I'm going to wait till after the quiz before I eat my chocolate. I'm going to give myself a treat. I could really do with some high fiber bars, actually. Mum, do you know anywhere I can get some high fiber bars at a cheap rate? Old Slimming World consultant, you. Um. <laughs> right. Do you want your answers? Can you handle your answers? Answers, answers, answers. All right. Let's work out what we're doing. Pitch round was to begin with. If you're not sure which pitches they were, these were these ones. Let's go through the answers. Number one on your pitch round. Number one was Daisy Ridley. She played Rey in Star Wars in the final trilogy of the Skywalker saga. 
Number two was Rita Ora. Sorry, Rita Ora. Lovely um, British pop songstress. Originally born in Pristina in um, Kosovo. Number three is Christine Keeler at the centre of the Perfumo Affair. Sorry, Peter. Yes, it was a, a typo there. It should be all 10, not all 5 in the wipe around. You need to get it correct. Number 4, the sports star is Bradley Wiggins. Number 6 is Joe Wilkinson. Who you can see on 8 out of 10 cats do countdown. He's the guy that looked pervily at Rachel Riley. Um, number 6 is Seth Rogen. Or Rogen. Such films as um, Hot Tub Time Machine, Zach and, Mir Zach and Miriam Make a Porno. Um, Pineapple Express, um, Knocked Up, uh, number seven is Ben Shepherd. you never knew he looked like that underneath his shirt on um, Good Morning TV did you, number eight is Zoe Ball, if you've not seen it at the weekend, um, Norman Cup, her ex-husband was meant to DJ at Bestival but obviously it was cancelled and their 10 year old daughter Nelly did a DJ set for about 45 minutes um, streamed live from their kitchen or from Norman's kitchen it was quite entertaining you never seen a 10 year old getting mad at a dad for dad dancing so much number 9 is Matt Baker formerly of The One Show now Mr Country File himself who on Sunday's Country File decided to dress like Marty McFly um, he didn't realise the body warmer in the check shirt just made him look the part. And number 10 is the World Cup. The Football World Cup. Round 2. Bill Withers sadly died. His highest chart in UK chart entry was a lovely day. Uh, question two, the hit, t hit BBC show which features Jay Blades, Dominic China, Will Kirk and Kirsten, uh, Kirsten Ramsey is The Repair Shop. Yeah, Liam, as soon as I said Hot Tub Time Machine, I realised he wasn't in it. I was um, getting ahead of myself. Question three, the Queen addressed the nation on Monday the 6th of April. Which wartime song did she reference at the end of the speech? That was We'll Meet Again. Number four. Um, what colour was the supermoon said to be? It was a pink supermoon. Um, who's become the cricketer of the year? Um, first Englishman since 2005. That's Ben Stokes. Um, winning the ballot for the Labour leadership is Keir, Sir Keir Starm, uh, Starmer. Number seven, the former Bond girl who died at the age of 94 on the 5th of April was Honor Blackman. Every week when I do this, the dog goes crazy outside at something. It's usually a fox. Question eight, who recently became the first British WWE champion when he beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. That's Drew McIntyre. Number nine. Lord Bath died from coronavirus, aged 87. He was the owner of Longleat Safari Park. Kelly, did it really take him that long to type that status? That statement, sorry. Um, question ten. Comedian Eddie McGuinness better known as Eddie Large. Round two, or oh, round three, sorry, round three was your top five.
Question one was all about the Flintstones. Name Fred's wife, daughter, pet, and both of his adult neighbours. So, Wilma is his wife. Pebbles is his daughter. Dino is his pet. They have the saber-toothed cat as well, but that's just a saber-toothed cat. Um, and Barney Rubble and Betty Rubble are his two neighbours, who later become the parents of Bam Bam. Name the five creatures who appear most frequently in the names of public houses. We have the fox. We have the swan. Pebbles was Fred and um, Wilma's daughter, I'm afraid, Paul. Bam Bam was the next door neighbour's kid. Um, we have the fox. We have the swan. We have the horse. It's a point for each, Liam, yes. We have the bull. And of course, at the top, we have the lion. Round four was your Alpha Links round. I think you were watching a different Flintstones, Paul, if you um, think that Barney had a baby with Wilma. Um, there was other versions on the internet, I'm sure there were. Alpha Links questions and answers. Number one, which vegetable... It's in the vegetable section. Can be an oyster, chestnut or shiitake... That is Mushroom. Cosmetic brand which gets its name from the Latin for as white as snow is Nivea. Alex, you can have a point for Nag. It's just an old horse. Who is Popeye's girlfriend? That's Olive Oil. Uh, number four, a piece of glass that separates light into the visible spectrum is called a prism. Madame Hooch teaches Quidditch and flight or broom handling at um, Hogwarts. But it's Quidditch is the answer for this one because it's the Alpha Links. Who said, but soft, what light through yonder window breaks? That's Romeo. The America's Cup is in sailing. Which American state is known as the Lone Star State? That is Texas. Number nine, what mountain range separates Europe from Asia? That's the Urals. U-R-A-L-S, the Urals. I'm so glad we don't have l twice as many people as this. The amount of comments would be too much to handle. And question 10, in Hinduism, which God is known as the preserver? That's Vishnu. Vishnu the Preserver. Round five is your connections. Question one. Who had a hit song in 2007 called I Don't Feel Like Dancing? That's the Scissor Sisters. Question two. What swimming stroke is named after an insect? That's Butterfly. Question three, the locomotive 4472 is better known as the Flying Scotsman. And question four, the penny farthing is an early form of bicycle. 
bicycle. And with those answers, you should be able to work out that your connection this week, they're all kicks. So you've got a scissor kick, a butterfly kick, a flying kick, and a bicycle kick. If you don't believe me about the butterfly kick, go and Google it. It's, there's lots of gifts of it, and it's very small but simple. Round six is your wipe power. Remember, if you get all ten of these right, you get a bonus of five points. If you get anything wrong in this round, though, you get to lose all your points for the round. It's the pleasure of getting something wrong. Question one. What comic duck is a billionaire? That's Scrooge McDuck. The Bay of Pigs fiasco took place in Cuba. Count Ducula's wealth is never discussed in the cartoon series, I'm afraid. He's just uh, an old vampire that just exists. He has a castle, but not all castle owners are billionaires. They, they live in rack and ruin. They're just money pits at the end of the day, Paul. Um, question three. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band was designed by Peter Blake. Hello darling Karina, Nivea do more than just skincare I'm afraid. Um, Peppermint Patty always calls Charlie Brown Chuck when she sat behind him in class. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. It's really annoying. Um, the basic currency of Israel is the shekel. I just love the sound of the word. Um, 1980s which actor became Motown Records biggest selling white artist ever he had two top 40 hits in the UK um, including Under the Boardwalk it's Bruce Willis now that is an answer James that is an answer you can have as many lifetimes as you want Paul you're never going to make a billion there's plenty of broke vampires out there. Trust me, I've been forced to watch lots of vampire TV shows. I have daughters. Question seven. Which sport takes place in a circle which is 4.55 metres in diameter? Sumo wrestling. Number eight. What colour is the black box on a commercial plane? It is orange. Number nine, if John Entwistle is the bass player, Roger Daltrey is the lead singer. And which book of the Bible tells of Goliath slain by David? That is the book of Samuel. And for those that you need the um, tie break, how many ships were in the Spanish Armada? There was 130 ships in the Spanish Armada. There were 22 galleons and 108 armed merchant vessels to be precise. 130 ships. Your quiz is out of 60, and this is now the time where you start to fire in your scores into the comments section. I'll paste all the um, answers in as well, just in case anyone's missing anything.
Oh, here we go then. Quick jizz coming in hot at 45. 45 for the Griffo, 47 for the Griffoles. Defo had no clue. Bruce Willis had a singing career. What do you mean, Summer? Two amazing songs. 51 out of 60 for the Uber Troopers. See, I can... Yeah, you're not tram wankers tonight. Pardon my language. Um, Uber Troopers, 51. Oh, it's Craig and Fiona telling me tonight. James wiped out with 41. Well done for going for it, though, sir. I like the gusto. Ruth, 44 for the crew. Black box is orange, Liam. 50 for Team Brown. 38 for Andrew Brown. 41 for Norfolk and Chance. 45 for Just Julian. Who's the rest of them, Julian? 47 out of 60 for Shouty Doos. 44 for Norfolk and Wonder. 50 for Clear Lofthouse. Grub, and, Grub Group and Toby with 43. Kill the Queen, 44. Mm. 22 for Summer, two more than last week. Well done, anyway. Getting closer, eventually, if the lockdown persists, you will get to 60 eventually. 39 points for Next or Neighbours. 43 points for Nick and Dawn. 48 points for the B-plus team. Fiona, just 25, me alone. Colette, four households, two countries, one quiz, 39 points. Faye, 49 for lying on my face. <laughs> just realised, I just realised it was you, Faye, so I was trying to work out who that was. Hi, Jack. Hi, Faye. 44 for the splinter team for Christy and Ian, 42 for the Wardles. Quiz on my face, got 40. The Dukes of Hazard in the house got 50 points. 39 points for Brent. 40 for the TT off eyes. Oh, oh, for Amanda. Yeah, sorry, I can't pronounce your surname. 36 points for Hanging On, just scored. 37 for Mulligan's Bar. I'm hoping that Biddy got at least 36 of those, Craig. You're useless on your own. Thir for the IT crowd, 41 points. Stella and Foster's 31. 43 if Count Duckler declared his income. He's like Donald Trump, he never declares. 40 for Quizzical Rascal. Quizzical, yeah, Quizzy Rascals. Five Wise Monkeys. Haven't won this week with 43 points. You wiped out. I'm interested to find out why you wiped out as well. 50 points for Buddy Brilliant for Peter. 40 points for Lockdown. The Girls and It. 58 points. Well done, Richard. Impressed with that one. <laughs> 28 points for Phil and, and Ellen. Better than last week. Good to see Biddy's joining in, Craig. Lucy Clark. Oh, 47 points for the Clarky household. Ah, Charlie Brown. He put Sir. Oh, terrible. She does call him Sir, but she refers to him as, Jack, as Chuck all the time. 37 points for Jax. 37 again, wiped out. Faye, Dexter, 30, not 39. Okay, thank you. So, I'm going to go back up. I'm going to say this week the winners were 51 points for the Uber Troopers. And it wasn't anything to do with the 90s music and Britpop. So well done. Uber Troopers, you've won this week. All right, good night, everyone. Thank you for coming along and taking part in this bit of fun on a Wednesday night. Um, it means I get to have a drink as well because I'm not driving to the pub and back. So see you next time. Good night. God bless. Wednesdays, 8 o'clock. See you next time. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, Fiona. Fiona, someone got 58 points. I, You do correct me on that one. Uh, I'm scrolling back up. We've got so many to scroll through. Where did I see it? Oh, it wasn't. Uh, it's was further down. I can't remember his name now. I recognise his name from something. Richard Thorley and the, the girls and it with 58 points. Apologies, 58 points. Congratulations and an amazing score. 
still five years and no one's ever got 60 out of 60 on any of my quizzes at the line so the 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 record continues good night safe travels home to your bedrooms from wherever you're sitting doing the quiz see you next time If you're at a loss, go and watch my YouTube channel. There's several hours worth of content to sit and watch. I'm just padding now while I finish the stream. Good night.